Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in the last tutorial, we saw how to compile tech files from the terminal. Now, uh, using that, today I'll tell you guys one interesting and simple way to write uh, code snippets inside your program and refer to them easily. Now, uh, you might remember in one of my previous tutorials, I was talking about the listings option and the verbatim option of including code, I mean the source code of some other programs inside tech and uh, making some fancy adjustments to it so that they become nicely, nice and colored and all and with syntax highlighting and stuff and all, okay. But if you look, if you just uh, introspect that option with what we did last time, to be honest, it's it's a good idea yes it has all the customization features and several other stuff and uh, you are able to control each and every aspect yes okay that's that's good that's a good thing about it but on the downside what happened is that we just have to write so many so many contents to start with for instance let me go to the folder where i uh, wrote the source code for instance this is the file now let me open this and gedit okay now this is the file we worked last time the thing is for a small piece of uh, for a, for the source code we put over here okay for the source code we put over here okay uh, the thing is you have to make a lot of adjustments in the list lst set for instance you have to set the background color basic style break at white space break lines captions comments so on and so forth you have so many options over here which you have to set set okay and this my question my thing is dude this is little too much like i just want my source code to be put with uh, already with predefined some predefined style like some of you guys may wonder like i just want some predefined style which is easy for me to look at but uh, i don't have to go i don't want to go and set up all of this and copy this file copy this set of code to all my code so that it becomes messy i don't want to do that i just want a simple pre pre-built uh styling but that's which is reasonably good enough okay now if you guys are those kind of guy if you guys are like that and if you want just some simple stuff where you don't have to like set all the parameters to your wish and customize it and just want some template already ready then you came to the right tutorial because today i'm going to tell, tell you about that um, in latex latex uh, there is this special package called as minted you see this one over here this package there's a special call package called as minted now what special what's the specialty of this package is that okay um if you have python installed in your system in your uh, ubuntu or in your linux or in your mac uh, even in your windows i i guess but i'm not sure how it works in windows i'm not sure about that i haven't tested that but anyway this works for this works nicely if you are in ubuntu uh, if you are in linux as well as mac okay the thing is if you have a so python version installed in your system which whose version number is greater than 2.5 or something greater than 2.5 and you have if, if you have the package called as pigments so let me write this comment over here and to use this package uh you should you should have python version 2.5 and above python version 2 point greater than 2.5 so it can and and uh, uh pigments library uh, module install so this is it this is a very uh, what did I do? okay this is something very important you have to keep this in mind if you want if you if you have this package installed and you have this python installed in your system which is always version is greater than 2.5 and you have a package called as pigments uh, it's not the spelling PYG it's not PIG it's PYG pigments install then what happens is that this package calls some of the Python uh, package and package routines package routines under the hood and gives you the coloring for your source code in a nice manner for instance if you want to have a look at how pigments looks like I can give you a sample for instance let me open the source code in genie uh, source code in genie and uh, source code in genie and okay hold on let me just zoom it up 
and if I were to uh, uh, change color scheme, okay, uh, in my genie, I, in my uh, genie editor, I have so many color schemes over here. Okay, for instance, default, alternate, bespin, bespin, and all. I usually use the uh, vibrant themes because it's dark and kind of contrasting, and it's a little easy on the eye instead of bright being bright. But the pigments, pigments uh, uh, theme looks like this. You see, if you have seen if you have seen a lot of uh, Python tutorial pages and Python documentation on the line, they would have used to sign a kind of a similar color coloring scheme wherein they keep all the okay. Let me close this. They'll keep all the comments in green, uh, comments in blue, uh, kind of a light blue, which is kind of tilt, and also the comments will be tilted slightly towards your right, towards your right. The main commands will be in green. The auxiliary commands will be in other colors and stuff like that <coughs> like that like that okay if uh, that's how in this kind of a coloring format it's how your file will look like so even the okay this is how your file will look like so um, to get that done okay I just accidentally like it to get that done what you have to do is just, just type your file name okay uh, and you have to give this uh, flag call us uh, shell escape okay type pdf latex shell es and uh, space gives a space and type hyphen shell hyphen escape and then give space and then write your file name and when you do that presenter okay it will give you a question mark just it's it's not it's still waiting so just presenter and that's it when you do that your file comes over here and let me zoom this file for you and uh, automatic it, no, no, hundred percent zooming won't be good. So let me make like one hundred fifty. Yeah, that's better. Now, if you look at the file, this file has a lot of images built into it. I, it, I there's a reason for which I've done that. Don't, I'll tell you guys a little later about that. Okay, and if you see, uh, this is actually a pi, uh, C program code which I've written inside the file. So I'll I'll show you. Now, inside the file, I'll show you. Uh, where is that? Yeah, this is the part. What I've used is that I've used this begin minted, begin minted uh, environment, and uh, and inside uh, begin and end uh, minted environment, I've written the C. I've written this C code. Okay, not C sharp, C. You can compare that. Not a problem. I've written the C code. Okay. Now, <coughs> just a few just a few pointers over here. Now, if you just write uh, C code, if you just write uh, the command uh, the codes within begin minted and end minted what happen what happens is that uh, what happens is that there might be some uh, okay just um, what is that control yeah let me zoom let me fit the page yeah now if you just write begin minted and end minted it may not be you know, possible for you to refer to this uh, source code separately code snippet separately okay so it's better to write this within uh, begin listed and end listed reason is because if you do that if you write it with the in, if you write this entire uh, uh, minted environment inside listed and listing environment okay what happens is that you get a, you get an option to write a caption and a label so that you can refer it to some other place so for instance if you if I were to zoom this up to 150% and go back you see this option over here Listing one, uh, listing one, uh, sample C code like that. Okay, if you want to give a caption like this with a numbering like this, then uh, if you then it's always then uh, the listing environment becomes useful for this regard. And this listing, this command listing environment under the minted command, okay, helps you to you know uh, give give a separate f f uh, function like this. Then this becomes kind of easy to refer to it. Okay, and this way, and uh, there are a few uh, parameters over here. I'll just walk you guys through. Mathscape is used for writing mathematical symbols into it, and most of the time it might work. Sometimes it doesn't, so don't worry about it. If you want to write uh, Unicode symbols for mathemat uh, Unicode mathematics symbols uh, in UTF-8 something, the Mathscape is useful. And if you want to write uh, uh, LaTeX symbols, LaTeX code with inside this minted environment, I guess Mathscape is useful, but as far as I've tried, it didn't work out as as I predicted. Maybe some 